All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. Today, it's Sunday, so hopefully, so far, you've all had a lovely weekend. Mine has been good so far, but today, we're back on our pursuit to finally and hopefully take down a hard mode boss in Eternity mode, because so far, the challenge is, well, I think it's kind of multi-layered. You have the actual bosses themselves, which are incredibly tricky and seem to punish you if you do simple things like flying for example but the other side of this is that i'm still trying to figure out like what class i want to play what weapon do i want to use what accessories are we using and all that good stuff so to start today's episode i think we should work on one of the most important items i think we'll need for the rest of the series which is going to be a rod of discord now we did talk about this in friday's episode Essentially, if you haven't seen it, the twins have a very special attack where one of the eyeballs fires out a Moon Lord laser that spins around like this. Now, the issue with this is that the fight doesn't really want you flying about. It wants you kind of stationary, but also kind of not stationary. You don't have a lot of time, so you either... You either ruin the fight by flying and maybe going out of the little bubble that you get placed in, or you rod a Discord out the way. Only problem with this is getting a rod of Discord isn't actually as easy as you might expect in this mod pack, which is, I'll admit, it's kind of strange. It's kind of strange because everything has been so... You, you, a lot of things have been made super easy in this. Not in the sense of like the actual enemies or like that. But yeah, we've, we've got... We've got a lot to do. So let me show you what I mean. So here is the Rod of Discord, the one that you can craft. Also, you could just find a Rod of Discord, but that is like kind of impossible sometimes. So this one is made out of five Chaos Elemental Banners. So that means you need to kill 250 of these Chaos Elementals, which is like, ah, <laughs> that's a lot of Chaos. 250 of an enemy is a lot when they don't spawn like super frequently. And this one's from Weapons Out, if you're wondering. So, I guess we get started. Like, we get into it. We see how it goes. Um, first thing I'll do is I will check. I want to check with the Deviant. Is she still around? I don't know if she is. A lot of NPCs have been dying recently. I want to check with her and see if we can maybe buy a summon for each one. And we just keep doing it that way. However, I don't think a Deviant is around. Oh, that's the Deviant. Never mind. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Right. So, uh, Core of the Frost. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a really good point. So, I can't even do this anyway. Hey, look at that. A Cloud Snack. That's cool. I can't even do this anyway because I haven't even killed one of the Chaos Elementals. So, we should probably work on that. People have been pointing out that I've had this in my hot bar for ages. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm a strange bloke when it comes to, to keeping certain items out. I think I just kind of forget... They just kind of blur into the background. So, let's find out where the, the hallowed biome is. So, um, this is crimson. So, that goes down that way. So, I want to... Oh, this is hallowed. Hallowed is right here. So, I think we're going to have an icy hallowed. I almost want to make um, another instivator. But the problem is they, they require a lot. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go and see if, um, if we can get a good grasp on it. So, what I've done, by the way, is I've grabbed... Um, I've grabbed a water candle. I've also grabbed some battle potions. I'm hoping that the weapon we want to use is, like, strong enough to kill them. I, I assume it is. We're pretty powerful. We've got titanium armor. But that's the plan right now. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no. No way. All right. I'm not listening to that for an hour. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know what that is, basically, it is a reference to The Legend of Zelda... Ocarina of Time. All right, that's Navi's voice right there. Navi's screaming, hey, listen. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Do I have a graph? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this this could have been good. Oh, God. <laughs> this is awful. This is awful. Rod of Discord who? I don't even want it now. Oh, my God. This goes on forever. Forever. Ages. There we go. All right, so let's start with Magic Chaos Elemental number one. All right, I don't have a tally counter, so this is going to get really annoying really quickly, but that's okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know about this. I don't know if we're getting this rod of Discord, I'll be honest. Unless they've changed the... Unless they've changed the recipe, right? Uh, sorry, the 
how frequently it spawns. Unless they've changed that, I don't know if we're getting one. Because <laughs> killing 250 of these sounds like a nightmare. I'm losing track of everything. The character is is all over the place. All right, I should probably get my summon out, by the way. That, that's probably one thing. Well, anyway, that's number one. That's number one dead. Just 249 more to go. Oh my god, look at this sword. <laughs> look at this sword, it's giant. <laughs> Please, Terraria. Terraria, I think you, you might have gone a bit far here. Well, I should really be saying Fargo Man. Fargo Man, please. Like, what have you done here? At least we're getting Souls of Light. Oh, this is just this is just awful. <laughs> this is not how I wanted to spend my Sunday. What is this? Oh, God. I can't do anything. I've got seven seconds of this. Oh, God. Oh, this is awful. All right. We're figuring out how to do the fight without the Rod of Discord. All right. <laughs> New plan. New plan. I wonder why I changed. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason now, I don't really feel like like farming. Oh, it's odd. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Terraria, please. Okay, alright. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Let's try this again. Let's see what we can do. So, I think what we want to do is dump all this away. Because if I remember right, two things. Oh, this is, yeah, two things. Number one, this is kind of cool. But we finished the Fargo series in 24 episodes. Oh, God, I smacked the microphone. I apologize, all right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Some of you are like, ow, my, my ears have been assaulted. Um, we finished the Fargo series in 24 episodes, the original one. And here we are on episode 25. It's crazy. It's crazy. Right. So I didn't use a, a rod of Discord originally. So I'm going to slap this bad boy on. We're going to be using magic power and magic regen. Good thing is I've already got all my ma my mana regen now. That's a permanent buff. To be fair, I, I could probably invest the moolah and in getting this to be a permanent buff. Let's actually have a little look at that. Yeah, nine platinum. Let's go for it. Oh my god, I didn't mean to go that much. <laughs> Can you sell them back for a profit? <laughs> Come on. Did that work? I don't know. Um, So we should also get, I guess, yeah, we get life force as well. This one's a little bit more expensive to get as a, a permanent buff, so I really don't want to go over. All right, five more of those. Bam. So we're up to 480 health. So we're already doing a little bit better. Now, one thing is, the sound of the the <laughs> the weapon is so annoying. It's so bad. Everyone mentioned it in the last episode. I mentioned it in a really polite way, and everyone was like, nah, it's, it's actually really bad. So we'll get rid of that for now. We'll get this a bit of a reforge. We're learning. It's weird to play with no sound. Somebody remind me, if I don't turn it back up again once we've moved on from this weapon, yell at me until I do. Because I do actually like playing Terraria with sounds. It feels uh, it feels strange without, I'll be honest. I mean, we've, we've dampened the sound quite a bit. Right, time for the twins. Look at that. Look at that. Took a, took a bit of a turn on today's episode, but that's all right. So this time we're going to be using mana regen, mana power, and we also have the benefit of automatically taking mana potions which is something that that people pointed out I, I definitely should have so the good thing about this is we do have a nice arena but the only thing is we just have to commit to um to actually staying in the area the also the the rough thing is as well like i'll just be real with you is flying over that moon lord laser beam is going to be so difficult because we don't exactly have great vertical jump speed i would say i wouldn't say it's amazing so maybe the the trick with this, I mean, this doesn't sound very much like a trick, but maybe the trick with this fight is actually just um, taking a little bit of extra damage in this first half to try and get used to actually being around the boss constantly. All right, that was bad. That was a really bad move. So what did we do there that was bad? We got it into the second half during, oh God, <laughs> please. We did this during the fact it's going to now transform. All right, at least we can bring it up here. So we're losing a lot of health. The Moon Lord laser is so bad. So is there any way to, to actually prevent that? Is that going to be a thing? Oh, that was awful. All right, we're trying again. All right, so we're now into the second phase. And this is actually... Oh, this is really bad. This is our first time seeing uh, this phase right here. Which almost, and I hate to say this, seems a little bit unavoidable. I'm just going to keep flying about. We might actually have to zigzag around for this one in particular. So this is really... This is rough. And two of these now? Like, that's impossible. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't do that. <laughs> it's just like, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
But that's not happening. It's not. No way. No way. Um, Skeletron Prime, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's have a little look at Skelly Prime. <laughs> we are so out of our depths there. So the thing is with that one is, yeah, I think you could avoid the the green flames. I need to turn my sound off. I can't deal with it. You can you can deal with the green flame, sure, but the second the other one goes into the other phase, you can't avoid it because you need to fly. Oh, I don't know. Right, so let's give this a go then. Very exciting times. Uh, I feel like today's episode is going to be a little bit more chill. It's a Sunday chill day, and I kind of like that. That's a good thing. Right, hunt a potion. Let's begin. It's a chill day, he says, as the giant skeleton approaches him. So, I'm not too sure how I want to approach this. I want to... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. This is awful. This is nightmare fuel in its truest form. This is really bad. I was going to say, I'm not too sure how I want to approach this, but I, I was going to say, I just want to approach it kind of like it's the other bosses. So for this one, for that for that targeting phase, you have to go diagonally out of the box. So that's one thing. I also do not know if we can even damage the hands or if it's all about the head. I think it's all about the head. Because as you can see, the, the arms don't have, um, they don't have health bars on them. So I can kind of see why people said this is the easiest. I can kind of get why. And I think it's mainly because you don't get punished as much, I would say, for flying about. Like, this one's not too bad. Some of the other ones have been awful for punishing you for flying about. This one is all right so far. The only thing with this is I'm dealing no damage. This isn't enough damage. i tell you what I want to do. I want to set that on the head. I took a lot of damage for that. That wasn't worth it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I think I need a new weapon. I think I think this one is, is not good enough for what we want to do. I don't know why it's just not dealing that much damage, to be, to be completely honest. I'm like, what am I doing wrong in that sense? Because it is a decent weapon. It's fast. It's... Is it fast? <laughs> is it good? <laughs> I really can't tell. I tell you what, let's shake it up one last time. I keep going back to this, but let's shake it up and go back to melee. Take this off. Give me back this. Buff up as normal. Well, we don't want to click buff up, but let's begin. 480 health. We got a skull. Wait, let me, let me grab this as well. I want to make sure that I've got a big summon with me, because I feel like we just need any damage we can get. The skull so far, what we've seen, honestly not so bad. I, I kind of... You know, I picked up on that pattern pretty quick. I feel like the game trains you in that sense to um, to, to kind of deal with that because of the Skeletron stuff we've already done. All right, begin. Let's go back to melee. Let's see if we can even do anything with this. We've got the summon on the skull. So that's going to be dealing a big bulk of the damage. And we're going to be moving diagonally every single time we see one of these. So the only thing with this weapon is we actually need to be able to throw it in the way of the boss. And the thing is, if the boss starts to move, then it doesn't really work all that well. One thing I might also try... Nah, I feel... <laughs> I feel ridiculous doing this. I feel like I'm, I'm really doing this stupidly. Right, one thing I also want to try is... I want to try it again with the mage weapon. But I don't want to be using... Um, I want to I want to regen my mana myself. Because I feel like the magic power stuff is just too... The, the debuff that you get for... Having mana refill for you is just too much. I've always kind of felt like that about that accessory, just in general. I only really like it in the late, late, late game. So this I can kind of deal with, I would say. If it remains like this for the rest of the fight, this ain't too bad. That was bad. I've got to kind of move a little bit better when that approaches. And I've probably got to stay a bit closer. But I do feel like this is probably going to have multiple phases, as, as most bosses do. So we just got to be careful of that. We can always fly upwards. That's another good thing, actually. If I'm in the air and there's platforms below me, I think that's what I'm going to get in the habit of doing. I'm going to start flying upwards rather than, um, than not. I think another big thing is keeping an eye on my actual mana so that I can spend a lot of time. Yeah, this is good. This is it. I think that's it. If I'm flying in the air, go up and to the right or up and to the left. But yeah, keeping an eye on my mana so that I'm not just, like, firing really slowly is probably going to be another big thing. 
So, so far, this fight is fine. I want to see what happens when we get presented with, like, a new challenge, which is probably going to pop up any moment. It's weird, though, because it goes on for a while as well, which is kind of, like, a bit of a nuisance. I don't know if I need to stay that close to it either if I want my summons to really do a lot. Okay, right, so there's the next phase. The next phase is you've got to stick around it in a circle and it fires out these homing, flaming skulls, this wall of fire. That's kind of interesting. Oh, it's also got more arms because, you know, Fargo likes more arms. Okay, for some reason the skulls didn't show up then. So a big thing I'm thinking here is new weapon. New weapon, I think this might actually be a done fight. I'm not even... You know, I'm not kidding about that. I actually feel like if I had a better weapon and I could skirt around some of these phases a bit faster. So how come the skulls have stopped spawning in now? What's that about? Like, we get the, the targeting thing and the game's like, nah. <laughs> nah, we've, we've given you enough skulls for now. Yeah, that is interesting. That is an interesting fight. I, I feel like... I feel like I need the weapon. The weapon. But does it exist? Well, let's find out. Let's find out what we have at our disposal. So I would say... Oh, God. Let me skip time. Uh, a clown has begun ticking. All right, let's skip time. So I, what I would do is, if I was looking for a new weapon, I would pull out some of the hard mode bars that we have, and I would take a little look at those. And then I would also pull out the souls and take another little look at those as well. And we'll go from there. So let me flick through some of these. So let's see. Is anything new? All right, there's a lot of things that are new here. So the swords, that's all good. Now let's see here. An auto injector. We don't want that. It, so if it says alchemist mod, we know it's not. It's not for us. Meat grinder. <laughs> well, interesting. Forbidden uh, gauntlet. That's weapons out. Okay. So we're not too interested in that. Let's go adamantite them. Is there anything there? There is not. Okay. So souls of night time. Let's have a little flick through. Um, these are cool weapons. Just in general, actually. That's. This is another little thing we, we could actually be making. Like, for example, why don't we make uh, a spirit flame? 147 magic damage. 57. Good weapons. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I feel like part of this can kind of be a little bit like I'm being a little bit lazy. So I'm, I'm interested to see. So yeah, spirit flame. Why don't we work on that? Forbidden fragments. They could be hard to get because I can't cause... Or is there something? Did we get something at one point to cause a sandstorm? Or was it an NPC that sold something to cause a sandstorm? Let me have a flick through. I'll, I'll just quickly check. Ah, here we go. Forbidden Scarab. So this could be the key to getting some of those... Um, Let me just double check that. I'm really bad at this sometimes. Forbidden Fragment. Yeah, it is from these. And this is from these. Alright, let's grab a Battle Potion then. So that we can make this more intense. And we'll spawn this in. The sandstorm has begun. So now all we need to do is actually kill something. So let's linger around and see if we can kill one. All right, we'll wait here. So I tell you what, these little, like, sand elementals, they always seem to be so rare and modded. Like, I remember when we were doing Calamity and I needed, like, a rare waifu in a bottle. <laughs> I think that's what it was called. It took ages to get them to spawn in. And they, even now, like, taking forever. I thought in hard mode... They were super frequent. You know, you, you just like, almost annoyingly so, but it turns out not really so much. I do wonder, does anybody know this for like a fact? Me being so close to NPCs, is that making any bit of a difference? The mutants arrived, yeah. <laughs> a lot of NPCs died for this. And I'm curious, like, does that actually change anything? Because I might go onto this side, because this is still the desert. Or do I have another desert? I do have another desert. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go to the other one and see if that can make a bit of a difference, actually. That, that'll probably work out a bit better. Uh, where's my man? Well, my man is dead. <laughs> I was gonna get the, the guy to sell me the summon to go, you know, to the, to the dungeon. Right, so from what I'm guessing, I do think the NPCs actually played a difference because, as you can see, I'm finding, like, June splicers now and sand sharks. Whereas I wouldn't, I wasn't in my little area. So I'm going to linger around here and see if we can get some of those things dead. I can, I'm struggling to remember the name of these. Is it Sand Elementals? Is that what we're trying to kill? I don't know. My knowledge of, um, of 
four? Is that it? It's not very strong. Like, unless I'm like... Yeah, here we go. Unless I'm trying to get something from modded. I don't ever bother with these. Right, let's set our summon on it. And let's try and get it killed. All I know is, is the Deviant fight has sandstorms and they're kind of annoying. Oh god, this is awful. It <laughs> is really bad. Please. Oh, this... No. <laughs> Alright, I might just need to use this again. Because of the fact that... Oh no, this is awful. Because of the fact I can't really target anything, there's too much... <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if we'll actually be able to beat this. We're like taking it down so slowly. It has 8,000 health left. <laughs> Terraria, please. <laughs> this is nightmare fuel. Okay, right. Let's just relax. Let's just try and focus. Oh god. <laughs> It's so rough. It's like um, it's like the the whole Duke Fishron thing. Do you know the the tornadoes that pop up everywhere. I'm always really bad at avoiding. <laughs> I feel like it's that all over again. All right, I'm just gonna try and keep my distance. Try and let the the lightning kill the sharks, which is a phrase I never thought I'd utter, but that's okay. I might be silent for a little bit. I feel like I'm, yeah. I feel like I'm just nattering on here. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I finally died. I had 2,500 le uh, health left on her. I think my summon might have actually been kind of messing that up a little bit. I feel like that was part of it. I feel like, um, yeah, it was just negating a lot of damage. So maybe what I'll do is, is I think I'm going to have the summon just kind of floating about and not targeting the, the mini boss. And then I'll deal with the mini boss myself. I think that's probably it. I got a lot of shark fins. <laughs> Interesting. All right, I think we might actually do this. How is this harder than I expected Skeletron Prime to actually be? <laughs> this is the real boss of the episode. I hate to admit it, but it is. So I think you get a guarantee. Yeah, you get a guaranteed drop from those, which makes me happy. That is awesome. So what else do we get? Um, all right, let me just let me get rid of some stuff. All right, so we got the Sands of Time, equipable, works in your inventory. Grants immunity to the mighty wind and cactus damage. You respawn twice as fast when no boss is alive. Use to teleport to your last death point. Whatever you do, don't drop it. Ooh, okay, all right. Well, I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to round it up there. I think I am. That was, a, that was a lot. That was a very big episode in a way, in a weird way. But it was, and I'm I'm glad we did what we did. So tomorrow, we're going to come back. We're going to make that magic lamp like Aladdin. We're going to give that a little bit of a polish. And you know what? Honestly, for real, I really do think we'll beat uh, a hard mode boss tomorrow. I, I think with that magic lamp, we stand a much better chance. Right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for another incredible week. I hope it's been a good one for you as well. Um, but that's about it. Shout out to our channel members as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.